Hello. Mutable Instruments Marbles is an extremely complex module and you might wonder if there's any way to check it out. Well, first of all, we can use the lights that come on the outputs to do a lot of our diagnostics and checking. Take the rate control. If we turn the rate control up, as you can see, everything flashes and moves faster as the internal clock gets faster and as we turn it down slower everything moves so much slower now if you put the clock at 12 o'clock, the rate control at 12 o'clock this button underneath here according to the color of the LED um, is a master control of the rate so right now it's middle speed if we go to red it's extremely fast for the same knob setting if we go to green it goes extremely slow and if we go to orange we return to where we were at the beginning so basically we've checked out the rate control and the speed con control which cycles through green, orange and red and now we have to look at the bias situation and the randomness of the timing here on T1, T2 and T3 okay now in the red mode as you can see up here where we have a red LED we're getting a very precise um, timing on the T1 and T3 relative to T2 and this is called the drum mode because it behaves very similar to uh, snare and kick if you want to say the middle one which is the fastest one of course would be the hi-hats so T2 would be the hi-hats close hi-hats and then you could put a kick maybe on T3 or a snare on T1 and um, you can change it from like a double a double kick or you can basically change the timing they're using the bias control slightly as you can see when we move it away from 12 o'clock we get a slightly different arrangement here between the drumming so you can by having this on red for drumming and having three um, drums hooked on here uh, kick snare and hi-hat you can uh, you can get various drum beats by simply rotating your bias control so that's one mode of timing now we go to the next mode if you this cycles through green, all of these buttons cycle through green orange and red so if we go now to the green one what we get is called the coin toss mode so in in 12 o'clock we're getting equal behavior between T1 and T3 and as we turn it more towards this side which would be called five o'clock now we're not getting any T1's at all we're just getting T2 and T3 in sync so that's that's no more long that's a hundred percent probability no more coin toss and as we go towards the center we occasionally get occasionally get one here on the T1 but we still have more predominant uh, T3's and as we come across here now to the other side of 12 o'clock we now get T1's and T3's sorry T1's and T2's with no T3's so basically what the bias control does in the coin toss mode where we have 
where we have um, a coin toss at 12 o'clock middle position we get equal probability between T1 and T3 relative to T2 now dealing with the last mode here now which is the orange mode when I switch to the orange mode notice all three of them are flashing in in, in sync at this at the 12 o'clock position but as I rotate it now towards the 5 o'clock position I get extreme either multiplying or dividing going on so if I come down to this side see I get a very multiplying the clock there see every now and then see that multiple flashes look at that there look at that there on T3 whereas this one is going slower here on T1 and of course if I reverse the setting over to this side notice we're getting multiple flashes over here now on T1 and we're getting slower behavior on T3 so we're multiplying and dividing the clock essentially between T1, T2 and T3 in the orange mode so that pretty much explains the timing section um, the only other control that we haven't touched here was the jitter which we can use to randomize the, repeti the repetitive regularity of a clock so if we get the, if we turn up the jitter here now notice we're getting strange behavior we're not allowed in getting consistent timing at all no consistent timing there and if we put that back to 12 o'clock we get in very very consistent behavior and if we put it over this side it lags behind so it's important to realize that the jitter control is not a rate control but what it does is it upsets the regularity that's the important concept there it upsets the regularity of the of the um, of the clock we would be getting a nice type of um, regular clock with the uh, jitter control in the 12 o'clock position. Now let's take a look at the other side. The other side of the module which is represented by these three voltages X1, X2 and X3. Are being think of it as a sample and whole type of situation where these random voltages are being captured at the times designated by T1, T2 and T3 so uh, T1's um, capture is on X1 uh, T2 on X2 and so forth so the the X1, X2 and 3 are the sort of XY portion remember that T is time and, and X is amplitude on a, on a graph uh, so that responds to the so we have three random voltages basically to go along with our three timings and uh, here what we have here with this um, button here we can cycle through green orange and red and we know that in the green we are getting zero to two volts so we know we can see that the um, the LEDs are a bit dimmer now if I if I press this one the random voltages go as high as 5 volts so your LEDs are going to be even brighter than normal and if I move to the red mode we get red lights what do the red lights mean? well the red lights mean that we've gone negative okay so in the red mode the outputs come between minus 5 and plus 5 volts so with the green mode we've got a 0 to 2 volts that's the range with the orange mode we've got 0 to 5 volts that's the range and with the 
red mode, we can get bright red or bright green because we're going from minus 5 to plus 5 volts. Now the last output we need to mention here is the Y output, which is the only one that's red at this time. Now it's changed to green. The Y output is a smooth full range, meaning minus 5 to plus 5 volts random source that is being clocked at a sixteenth of the rate of whatever we have on X2. So basically that's the reason why the Y is traveling so slowly, gradually decreasing and changing polarity and uh, in this particular case, obviously if we speed up the clock, everything is going to speed up together, the master clock, but right now since it's a sixteenth the speed of the clock, that's the reason why it's changing so slowly it's uh, traveling from minus to minus 5 to plus 5 and of course the intensity of the actual LED gives us some rough visual measure of what the voltage would be well we will close it off there and we will do the rest of marbles in another video